<clears throat> this is Colossians 3 and 1. If ye that be risen with Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, seek those things which are above. Kind, and that's the things that we're supposed to be doing right now. We're supposed to be seeking those things that are above, man. And what's, what's above us? I have been called Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, man. Who the world even called God in Jesus Christ. All right? Keep going. Well, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Sit up on the right side, right hand of Yahweh. Where the Yahweh shot sit up on the right hand of Yahweh, man. <laughs> so, what Yahweh shot said when he left the disciples, he going to his fathers because his father had many matches, roughly paraphrasing. Yeah. So, at the end of the day, the, the Yahweh shot getting everything prepared for the 144,000, the elect men, getting things prepared for them. So, when he come back and save them out of this, uh, out of the cell, which is America, it didn't say seek the things on the earth. It didn't say seek the things of the world, but seek the things that are above where Yahweh shot sit at on the, on the throne with his father, Yahweh, man. Verse 2. Set your affliction on things above, not on things on the earth. So it says set your affection on the, thing of, the things above, all right? Because why? We supposed to be storing up heavenly riches right now. So we supposed to be setting our affection on things above and not of this earth, man. Because... Uh, Esau, which is uh, the so-called white man, are the biblical Edomites, and they teach the remnants of this world, man. They teach you uh, uh, corrupt things that you should be seeking, but the scripture is said unto the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the confusing of faith men, the Israelite men, the saints, that we must be setting our affection on things above, man. Because why Yahweh is sitting on the right hand of the Father Yahweh, man? All right, that was to verse uh, 3. Oh, verse 2. All right, so read it one more time. From the top. Uh, verse 2 again, Alright, this is uh, Colossians 3 and 2. It says, Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. Nah, so it didn't say set your affection on your women. Set your affection on your children, those. It didn't say set your affection on the things of the earth, your women, your children, your family, none of that. Even though we have families, we do love our families, but at the end of the day, it's about doing this work, man. We're making it to the kingdom, man. And when we get to the kingdom, we can be able to enjoy our families. We can be able to enjoy things that's, uh, that's going to be righteous in that mm. state. Because right now, we can't enjoy the things on this, uh, in Esau's kingdom. You know, we gotta, sometimes we got to battle within our household. We have to battle at our job. Everything, man, because it's an ongoing thing. It's an on constantly war um, on, in Esau's kingdom, man, because it's nothing but a wicked vibration that's being pushed out that the so-called white man has pushed because he is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Con, All right. Con, if, if, if I may add on, just like the brother was saying earlier, man, uh, just basically like the scripture say, man, if you uh, come to serve the Lord and hate not your mother or your father or your sister, roughly paraphrasing, man, then you can't be a servant of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Because you got to put that work first. You know what I'm saying? You got to put everything to the side and put Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah first, man. Con. Why you say those who don't bear the cross, you know what I'm saying? Not worth it. This is Proverbs chapter 15, verse 24. The way of life is above the, the wise, that he may depart from the hell beneath. Right, so the way of life is, is above to the wise, man, to, to the, the, the wise, the ones that you see out there pushing, giving all diligence to make they call them the lesser shore. Start from the fossil to heart on down to the younger I kill, to the other kill that's I'm under the umbrella of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Our affections are, are set above in the heavenly things. Because we're setting up our riches in heaven, man. We, that's what we're setting up our treasures in. We don't care about the treasures here on earth. Because we know everything that's here can mope and corrupt. It, and it, it's corrupt, man. And we know it's going to be blown away. With that nuclear fire man. that's coming on here. Hey, he's gonna in jump America, from these other foreign countries. You just going to jump off that bridge up there. <laughs> All right, that's it. So at the end of the day, this is what's wise, man. You know what I'm saying? This is what's wise. We're keeping this truth, man. Doing the will of our heavenly, doing the will of, of, of our heavenly Father, and, 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 and through His Son, Yahweh. Yahweh, man. She got a demon on her, y'all. That's, that, that's a real demon. Now she got like a real uh, head head spinning type of demon. Like, like she got a real one on her. She was sitting there. You didn't see her? She was like. Yeah. She was looking at us crazy. Now she's going like this. Yeah. Huh.
Shaking that shit? Snake motion like this. Yeah, Cause when she came up, she was looking at you. Yeah, the Medusa shit going on. She was like, mm -hmm. you like the same look when she first walked up. Uh, you on camera, how about that? Stink <laughs> right. look for the world to see, how about this that? This is Romans chapter 13. Yeah, Called Stinky. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of your power. Huh. Because there is no power but your power. Because what? You know what I'm saying? We have our people out here fornicating and spend, doing a spiritually adultery with all these other gods. But the only true power is Yahweh, who the world even called Jehovah a, a God, man. Because his true name in the Paleo Hebrew is Yahweh, man. All right? Keep going. Uh, all right. Because you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the children of Israel of the Scriptures, man. Because some people that's in Israel today is not the biblical Jews or the Israelites. <laughs> they are imposters. All right? They are Edomites. That's right, man. All right? Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of Yahweh. Son, so if you resisting the power of, of, of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man, you resisting the ordinance, man. All right? Because at the end of the day, man, the, 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 the apostles from Tahal all the way down, that's the, that's the order that Yahweh, through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, has set up. So if you're going against that order, the right. doctrine, of the doctrine that they're teaching you today, you're going off, yeah. man. Okay. You're resisting the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, because he set it up. Not, not man. I appreciate it. And right. they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. So you resist the order because what the Lord said, let everything be done in DC in order. So at the same time, you you resisting the order that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah set up, man. And damnation is going to come upon you, man. Ooh, For you scoffers that's out there want to scoff against the men of GMS. All right? You will be destroyed unless you repent. But most of y'all, y'all too prideful because what the Lord said is it's, it's, it's three sort of things that he, uh, he greatly offended. A, a, a poor man that is proud, and most of you people, y'all, uh, you, you men, you know what I'm saying, you niggas that know the truth, right? Y'all very prideful, man. The Lord offended by that, and he hate that, man. Yeah, so for the rulers are not a terror to good works, but to evil. Will thou then not be afraid of the power? Do do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. Huh. For he is the minister of Yahweh to to thee for good. Huh. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid, for he beareth not the sword in vain. Huh. So at the end of the day, man, you know, this is what's good. Doing the will of our Heavenly Father through His Son, man. Lifting up the name of Yahweh by Shemar man. Huh. Because this is, the, this, this is the affection that we're supposed to be setting above. The thing is above, all right? Because when Yahweh Shah was on the earth, when Yahweh Shah was on the earth, he he was he was doing the same thing on on, on the earth, teaching his word, man, doing the will of his of our heavenly Father Yahweh, man. Yeah, people too. Huh. Well, real quick, uh, if I may, but Baka Shah, just like it said, it said, yeah. won't you, will you not be afraid of the power? So you should be afraid afraid of Yahweh by Shah, man, because huh. he the one that sends strong delusion. Huh. He the one that sent you that delusion that got you thinking. Yeah, what yeah. they say, America is. The Babylon is the Vatican City. Son, he the one that sent you trying to deny. He the one that sent you that delusion. Right. That, that, for you to think that the Vatican City is Babylon. Son. He sent you that delusion. So why are you not scared? Of, you should be scared of the power. You know what I'm saying? That's why you should be bucking up against the stuff that he set for us. Son, because if the prophet be deceived, because the Most High have deceived that prophet, man. All right? Son. All right. <laughs> this is Deuteronomy 33 and 29. Son. Happy art thou, happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, O people, saved by the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai, the shield of thy help, and who is the sword of the excellency, and thine enemies shall be found liars unto thee, Come. and thou shalt tread upon their high places. Come. Come. So at the end of the day, man, yeah, you know, we, we are happy. And of doing the work of Yahweh by Shemar Shai. Because why we better have them heavenly treasures, man. We send our affection above and not the things on the earth. Because the things on the earth is not but corruption, man. It's not but deceit. Alright? It's not but abom abomination. Alright? Come on, that was it. Right. I got a couple more, but I'm going to say, I hope I'm going to take that from where it is. This is St. Matthew, chapter 6, verse 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasure upon earth, huh. where moth and rust do corrupt. So all you brothers that fell out of the truth, or that want to be promoted in Esau's system of, of working and doing things of that, the Lord said not set your treasures upon this earth. And some of you brothers that fell out of the truth, y'all know these scriptures, man. 
Alright? Keep going. And where these break through and steal. 